Okay, we can start our next session. Before giving the word to our speakers, I would like to remind to everyone that we are on DevConf 2022. Uh, my name is Andrei Veselov, and uh, me and Richard Filo are moderating this session. Uh, this session is live, and uh, there will be a time for your questions, and also please feel free to use Q&A section. So now I'm giving the word to our presenters, and see you soon. Okay, hello everyone, and we're really happy that you join our talk. Today we will talk about Red Hat Summer Camp Burnout Project. So let's start with a short introduction. My name is Yulia. I have been working with Red Hat for more than two years. I'm Associate Project Manager, and I'm in charge of Red Hat Summer Camp Burnout Project. Together with me, speaker is Yuri. Uh, he's my colleague, and he's also co-organizer of the Red Hat Summer Camp Burnout. Yuri? Yeah, thanks, Yulia. So hello, everyone. As Yuli mentioned, my name is Yuri Sloyev, working as software quality engineer in Fuse QT middleware, and I'm working for Red Hat for more than three years. Below, you can see our contact details. In case if you have any question regarding the project and you try to ask them in our Q&A section, so feel free to contact us anytime you want. So let's have a quick look to the agenda. Today, we will talk about project introduction, what Red Hat Summer Camp Berna is, our goals, uh, concept of the project, and what participants can expect if they will join the program. Then we will talk about history, expectation and reality, future plans, and in the end, we will have Q&A section. So let's start with the first part. Yeah, thanks. So let me introduce you to the project. And we wanted to start with our motto. Today you learn, tomorrow you succeed. We believe it perfectly describes our project in one sentence. Perhaps you asking why, we will show you next slides. So what the Red Hat Summer Camp Bruno is, it's a two week uh, IT camp for high school students from 16 to 19 years old, located in Brno, Czech Republic. And the project is fully in English. We introduce students to IT companies and the IT field itself to let the students know how it looks like, how it works, before actually they start the university degree. You know, we all know how it's important and stressful to make the right choice of your future career and your life path. So the project allows students to get familiar with Red Hat culture, people, and open source values. And of course, the project gives a great opportunity to students uh, with IT and non-IT backgrounds to work together in teams, to go for various classes, workshops, and projects as one team, and try to win a grand prize. And only one team will, will win it. Yeah, and our goals are, first of all, help students to understand their preferences and set up the learning path before starting university. Make students with different backgrounds working together on common goals. Make students familiar with Red Hat people, culture, and promote Red Hat among young talents. And Introduce AT World to high school students. Now we will focus a bit more about concept of the program. As you can see on the slide, we have three main domains of the summer camp, soft skills, hard skills, and projects. We will get closer to each of them now. So soft skills, I would call it really the background of our project. It's real foundation before studying uh, teach students something hard, something technical. We are giving them some soft skill knowledges. Uh, we're helping them to work together, to communicate with each other, trying to help them to increase their presentation skills and help them to think out of the box. So in our program, we have creativity workshop, soft skills, communication, and business plan. Next stage is hard skills. So the students already got some basics, knowledges, what they need for the program, and we are moving to coding. We have two sessions for coding, coding in Ruby for beginners in advance. They're going one by one. Then we have diversity of programming languages, UI, UX, and Git workshop. And on the top of it, we have projects. So students already passed hard skills and soft skills, so they already got some new knowledges, new skills, and a time to check what they actually receive from the program. We have three small projects inside of the summer camp. It's Rochek Bruno, first one. The program about uh, they need to come up with any problems they have in Brno and try to solve it and present the solution. It's a project when they will use their presentation and creativity skills. Next one is fix codes. They need to find a back and fix it. An application one is the last one, but the main 
because they will need to use all their knowledges. The idea of this program is to help them. Sorry, <laughs> the idea of it is to come up with idea about application in three days from the beginning, from the completely zero. So they will need to create an idea of application, write a business plan, create a simple prototype and sell it to investors. Here on the slide, you can see the real program from the last summer, 2021. The red boxes is welcome and bye-bye words. Pink one is for soft skill classes. Yellow is for hard skill classes. Blue is setups and fun activities. And green is for projects. So it's actual real two weeks program from the last summer. And it's three hours per day. So now we will talk a bit more about history. So you will see a lot of dates here, but I wouldn't focus on each of it because it would take a lot of time. So I will just like uh, talk about the main one. So the story began in September 2019. Yuri and I was working together on Red Hat open source contest and we realized that it would be good to create something for high school students because at that time the main focus was on students from the university. So we were thinking uh, what we can do. We wanted to do have something interesting and useful for students. Uh, which just like will go to university. And we come up with the idea of the summer camp in October. And in November, we did our first presentation to our mentor, Matej Grushovsky. And he loves the idea. So we started to working on this program. And of February, we had our first kickoff meeting. We built the program, we found the teachers, but unfortunately in March, the COVID is came and we was needed to expand the project. So in November, the same year, we realized that maybe it's time to start preparing the program again and work on it. But at the time, we didn't use that. The half of the teacher left the project. Some of them left the company, some of them left the project. So we was needed to start everything from the real beginning. And we had our second kickoff meeting. And it was actually great because we rebuilt the program for better. And in March, we had the whole content ready. In May, we started the promotion, and in June, we had everything ready. We had teachers, we had participants, we had the content. But in July, one month before the program will start, we realized that we don't have all legal documents. We even didn't thought that we will need them. But um, we met some people with legal team, and we realized that we need to prepare the document really fast. And as we know now, this process usually takes three, four months, but the people from Legal Tilt help us a lot and they prepared the document for us less than in one month. And in August 2021, we had the summer camp Bernal project. We was kind of scary in the beginning because we haven't any experience working with high school students. It was online even, so we didn't know what to expect because it's summer, it's two weeks, and we're asking students to sit in front of the laptop. But we received actually really positive feedback. Uh, the students were really uh, inspired of the programs. They tell us a lot of good words, so we was really inspiring, and we decided to do the second round of the program, and we started to work in it right after the event is finished. And now, nowadays, we are working on the second run. We know that it's going to be probably online, but we're still hoping that maybe something will change and we will do it offline. So we're here to present you the summer camp and let's move forward. Yuri. Yes, so thanks, Yuri. So now let's talk about our expectations before our first run and what realities we ended up with. You know, nothing is ideal and we are not the exception. We passed through different challenges and complications, what made us only stronger. So our first expectation was to make a project in six months. We were sure we covered everything and we were ready to start the run. However, a legal team contacted us just one month prior to the run and asked for legal forms and other documentation. And many thanks to Clarence Clayton from the legal team who actually helped us a lot to do the whole process just in one month for like on time. The second expectation was about the offline project. We dreamed how we meet our students in person, how everyone enjoys classes, workshops, different activities. But you know the story, COVID, lockdown, and we did our first run online. Last but not least, we expected that students will use their own machines and we asked teachers to prepare 
all installation guides for different various operating systems like Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and what could go wrong? Docker doesn't work on Windows 8.1. <laughs> yeah, we had two students actually who used Windows 8.1, but thanks to the teachers and volunteers for their professionalism, they quickly implemented Plan B. They set up remote running machine with RHEL 8 and Docker on it, so provided quick installation guide and students were able to continue their study. Yeah, lessons learned. You know, we all are humans and make not always right decisions. And first run, the project gave us great lesson, which we learned. How well lessons were learned, the second run will show. You know, nowadays uh, you have two options, start making project online from the beginning or take a risk and start it offline. In this case, have a plan B, just easily convert the project online. Before starting the project, double check what kind of documents you may need and their deadlines. Work closely with teachers. Make sure you have you all have the same vision. Class contact follows the project goals and keeps balance as some students may have no IT account at all. Yeah, have backups for teachers. Again, we're all humans and literally enough, anything may happen. And the transparency. Yeah, this is the most important. Share all received information with co-organizers to be on the same level. Before any external meeting, call, talk, just make sure you have the same vision, understanding, and strategy. And before taking any action, get feedback from co-organizers. We're still learning and we need support from the team. Yeah, let's talk a bit about future plans. On the table, you can see our plan for the next four years. So let's start with the year 2022. As we already mentioned before, we are ready for the flexible format, so it depends on the situation, we can do online or offline, but we would like to increase the number of participants on 10. Uh, last year we had 20 students, uh, this year we're expecting to receive 30 application, and allocation will be Brno, as it was last year. Year 2023, uh, we definitely want to do offline, finally, and we would like to increase the number of participants and have 50 students. And of course, we're not located only. Uh, year 2024, the idea is to split the program to two different runs, going one by one. First will be online. We will expect 50 students, but we would like to cover the whole Czech Republic. And offline will stay the same as last year, 50 students and we're not located only. Year 2025, online, uh, 50 students, but at that year, we would like to cover the whole European Union countries. And on flying, of course, will stay the same, 50 students, and we're not located only. Yeah, thank you. So now it's time to sum up what we talk about. What's the Red Hat Summer Camp Bruno is? It's IT camp for high school students from 16 to 19 years old, located in Brno, Czech Republic. And the project takes place in the first two weeks of August and fully in English. And the project goals are following. First of all, help students to understand their preferences and set up the learning path before they start university. Then introduce AT World to high school students and promote Red Hat among young talents. We are now in the really end of our presentations. We would like to remind you that currently we are working on the Red Hat Summer Camp Brno 2022 and registration for this run will be open from the 1st of March. So you can find additional information via this link. You can see on the screen uh, research uh, Red Hat com events, or you can use and scan this uh, QR code. Uh, it will put you to the Google form. You can write your name there and email, and we will you will receive all information and registration form once it will be open. So if you have kids, or you know that you know someone who is from 16 to 19 years old from Brno, who would be interested to participate in the project and take place in Red Hat Summer Camp Bruno, feel free to share it. So thank you for your attention. You can see our contact details below on the slide. If you have any questions, you can write them or now it's time for Q&A. Thank you very much. I think, all right. Uh, yeah, let's con uh, let's continue with the Q and A. Uh, the first question is: uh, You mentioned that students should be using their own machines. 
Have you been thinking about organizing it with a uh, hardware provider provided by Red Hat so you can cover the digital gap? Yes, um, I will answer this question. Of course, we were thinking about it, but unfortunately, because of the COVID restriction, we cannot do that. One, the program will be offline. It will be happening in the Red Hat office. We will provide all laptops and everything for the students. But unfortunately, once they will do it from homes, we cannot do that. Okay, thanks. All right, uh, the next question is uh, also, how do you promote this activity among the high school students? Uh, do you cooperate with any specific high schools? Yeah, we have around 30 high schools and we have around 50 students, uh, teachers contacts. So we are sending the email directly to teachers. We also put in the posters in the schools. And of course, we're promoting via Red Hat social media. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, another one question, how many applications for the camp you got last year? How do you choose the participants and what are the acceptance criteria? Yeah, um, we received around uh, 40 applications last year and we selected only 20 students. We have three questions. First one is level of coding, but we don't pay attention on it. We just need it for building the program. Second one is motivation letter. Uh, we really want to know why the students would like to join the program because it's two weeks and we would like to see the motivation why they want to participate in it. So we're selecting them by motivation letter. And of course, we're asking some uh, weird question, but I wouldn't mention it here. It's just like to know how the people thinking. It's some logical question. So some, nothing special, uh, but yes, we're selecting based on motivation letter. Yeah, also we ask about the English because yeah. it's also important to know because everything is in English. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last question is from me, from my side. I, I just, uh, I'm wondering just, uh, are you going to keep on with the uh, Ruby language or are there any plans to so, uh, to use some another language or something like this? Uh, the original plan for the next run, for the run 2022, is to still keep the Ruby. But of course, it will depend on the teachers, definitely. Uh, we will contact them soon, uh, upcoming months. And the promotion for the project will be uh, starting on March. So we will announce if we will stay with Ruby or we will move to another language. But for now, 90%. 9% that we will stay with Ruby as it was last year. Okay, thanks. That sounds good. <clears throat> yeah, from myself, I can just uh, add to your speech that my last experience, uh, my first and last experience with a summer camp was very good. I liked this uh, as a teacher. <laughs> So next time I hopefully will be also uh, participating. So it's very nice to work with students, to, with new, uh, with a fresh blood, so to say. So, yeah. We're also happy to work with you. <laughs> uh, thank you. I think uh, there are no any questions. 